Hi, I'm Rufaro Barada with Anakazi Center. We are so excited to have our guests from AWEP and we'd just like to hear your reflections on the experience of being in the United States and also perhaps a quick tidbit on what it is to find your purpose as a businesswoman. So please also just introduce yourself, give us your name and the country that you're from. I'm Saad Nasuko from Mauritius. I'm Carol Dupont from Swaziland. I'm Mayan Kaikai from Sierra Leone. Mapulele Tabo from Botswana. Welcome. So if any one of you wants to go first, what has this experience of being in the United States been like? Well, I choose maybe one of the favorite American expressions. I'll say awesome. <laughs> because this is how we seem to be uh, being uh, talked to. Awesome. Well, what, would I, what can I say? I think there's been a wonderful organization on the part of the Department of State to be able to gather so many women from so many different countries, but with uh, some, uh, when we are share, sharing the same interest, as in we are all women entrepreneurs, and we are being a, given a wonderful opportunity to discover America in its various facets, because we are not being uh, exposed only to entrepreneurship issues, but also to social issues, as in AIDS, and uh, various other issues. So it's a wonderful opportunity to see, to, to see, to discover the various aspects of what America can offer, not just from what you can see on TV. Wonderful. Um. Uh, just to add to that, I think it's been a huge uh, motivator to try and do business with America. We've been to Congresswoman Karen Bass. We met with her, and she spoke to us a little bit about Agoa. So, yeah, this has been a huge inspiration in wanting to actually bring our African markets right here. I've been here quite a couple of times, but this is my first time in um, LA, and I'm very happy to be here. And um, if I could speak for the group, um, one of the things that we're trying to push for is to try and see how we can get some of our pieces sold in some of these high-end boutiques around uh, um, around LA and Chicago and New York. So that's what we've been really working on. We had a positive meeting yesterday with um, Congresswoman Bass concerning Agua and how we could ship some of our pieces from Africa to the US. So those are all avenues that we never knew about that we're trying to make sure that we can get involved in. So we're very happy to be here. I think uh, apart from the fact that we are discovering so many new things, what I'm really surprised is the fact that how so m women from so many different countries we are getting along so well we are helping each other so much even maybe if we don't achieve the aim for which we have come here maybe to find new markets for some to find to start networking with the entrepreneur um, community in U the US and so on but within our own group, we are networking so much. I think by the end of it, we will start trading with each other. We will start uh, trading amongst um, ourselves to start with in Africa before start thinking of new markets which are much further away. So I think this has sort of awakened the spirit, the African spirit amongst ourselves, the, that friendship, that sisterhood, I think. This is wonderful, but I think it, if we can take it to the next level after that and uh, make, it make it a reality in the US, I think this will be even more so wonderful because like uh, the evening tonight, we are meeting more women who are present in, uh, in the US and already doing the job that we would have dreamt of having somebody to do it here. We didn't realize, I think, that there was a, actually a group already doing it. So I think this is a wonderful opportunity that we are being given. Yeah, and I think just to add to that, our biggest challenge has been to figure out, you know, if, if we come here to the United States, how do we actually access our market? Who's going to do that for us? Because we don't have the funds to come here on a long-term basis and look for um, distributors or people to buy from us. So I think your organization would probably play a huge role in that. 
and we would love to explore all possibilities to, to get all our group of ladies to, to work with you. Well, all I can say is that um, being here tonight, we've had quite a few orders. We've had quite a few people interested in our pieces, which is good. And um, one of the things that I'm happy about was the fact that um, the director from your organization met with us and she explained to us um, what the organization stands for. And, um, you know, we're very, I'm very happy to be here. I'm just very happy to have um, people interested in my pieces. I know that I have somebody that I can trust. Though I live in Africa, I know that I have somebody that I can trust that can, you know, market my product here very well for me. I know that I have somebody who can um, meet with buyers, strike a very good deal for me. Um, I know that I can ship my things from Sierra Leone and have somebody who's very reliable, who can make sure that the um, buyers get my pieces on time. So we're, we're all very happy to be here tonight. Thank you so much, ladies, and Thank all you. the best. Thank you. I'm sure you'll share with us if you're on social media, if you have yeah, we're on Facebook. Yeah. Wonderful. So we will definitely post your information on the Anakazi website. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.